Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Monday afternoon, that only means one thing. We're down the beach and we're ormering. Uh, it's currently the last ormering tide of this session, so I'm down at the beach. Like I say, it's a big low water, 0.5 meter tide, and we're gonna go down there and hunt these abalone. So stay tuned with us. I'm gonna start making the walk down there and hopefully we find a load of creatures and a load of shellfish. So guys, we're on the walk down. You can see there's already people down there. We want to get into these pools here and have a look for these abalone. I absolutely love foraging for abalone. It's a good old Guernsey tradition to come down and find these shellfish. So I managed to find one glove, which I put on back to front, a bit like Michael Jackson. Yee-hee! And uh, yeah, got the foraging hook and we're going to go for him. You have to watch these rocks on the walk down, guys. If you're a local person, just keep your whereabouts of where you're placing your foot and stuff like that, because a lot of these rocks are slippery and you don't want to be going over because it's a long way for them to come and get you or your mate's going to have to carry you on the old fireman lift. So uh, yeah, you don't really want that. So we're going to head straight down there. The tide has receded quite quickly. Hopefully there's still some abalone for us. Um, they're quite plentiful, so I'm hopeful we're going to get a couple guys. Hopefully uh, a lot of the rocks will probably not be turned back, so we know what ro rocks not to turn over, if you know what I mean, because uh, we already know that they've... Uh, been turned and foraged so lovely rock pools here beautiful seaweed rack the smell of the beach is just amazing i absolutely love it just reminds me of being a kid down the beach back when i was younger no worries and just foraging and having a good time so uh yeah we're going to start making our way to these pools shortly and i'll bring you back once we're there we'll get on to foraging these lovely uh, sea snails guys this really does take me back uh when I was a kid, this is all I ever used to do, was literally just come down the beach with like smash fishing and come down with my other mates like Brad and Reese. When we were kids, we used to just come down here, just forage, man, just have a look, crabs, little caboos, have a little laugh, or little drop lines. Absolutely great, really love it. So I always look forward to this. Beautiful scenery, you can't beat it. Let's go and get these ormers. What I might do is I might just look in these pools here. I might not go too far. I know that I had a few ormers in here the other day and the tide has gone back a lot further. You should find a few in here. Be very surprised if you didn't. They couldn't have turned over every rock. Oh, there's one there. First ormer of the day. Is that big enough? Beautiful collars to her. Yeah, she's in. Beauty, first ormer of the day, guys. Oh, there'll be a few in here, chap. You don't have to go too far. Now you're looking for rocks you can turn over, guys. So any rock you can turn, turn it. There's another warmer there. I don't know if that's going to be in. Oh, that looks in. There you go, guys. Second warmer of the day. You beauty. Make sure we put that rock back nice and safely. Oh, there's a little top knot under there as well. Hey, I look, I just caught it. Lovely little flat fish there, guys. Beautiful little top knot. Oh, another keeper there. Beautiful collars on that one and patterns. Just put it on the gauge. It's in by about two or three millimeters. Beauty. Check these rocks all around here. They could be under any. Oh, God, another one there. Little one. Still in. In is in. All we're doing is just searching rocks. So all you're doing is just turning rocks wherever you find one. Oh God, I just found a rock here. I've got two on here. I've got one there. I'm going to check in for gauge. All right. That one's in. Beauty. Not one. I've got another one here. I can't get him off. There he goes. I got him. He was well on. That one's well in size, that one, guys. You beauty. Right. Get this rock back over and we'll start checking these rocks in here. Not a nice one there. You beauty. We're not even down far. We're just in the pool right at the top. This happened the other day, so I decided to come here again. 
because that's what they did. They all rushed down and I just stayed in this top pool and I was getting quite a view. Oh guys, check this mammoth out. Look at the size of that beauty. Look at that. Coming in. Look at the size of that. No measuring that one, look. It's well in. All we're doing is just turning the rocks and just turning them back. I haven't really seen much wildlife to be fair though. Another little one there. I don't know if that's going to be in. Yeah, he's in. Another one in the bag. I'm going to keep rummaging through this pool. I'll be surprised if this hasn't been done. It's a big rock. Oh, there's one on that. Is it big enough? That one is. Maybe. Oh no, look, just out. I'm gonna chuck that one back. Why would your hand around that rock? No more. Turn this little rock back. Okay, we're gonna keep going through here. Now there has been a few rocks that have been turned by the looks of it, but there's a few that hasn't. So we'll just turn the ones that haven't. Like right, that one's been turned for sure. Yeah. Oh no. Big Orma. I think. Or is that just out? That's gonna be just out that. Yep. There that goes. Turn the rock back. Oh nice one here. Big beauty. Nice one. No measuring these bad boys. There's a smaller one there. But that ain't gonna be in. Get that rock back. Another one in the bag. I'm gonna rummage around all these in here. Because they can be anywhere. Literally anywhere. Oh, is that a brittle star? Oh, I lost it. There it is. There you go, a brittle starfish there. Nice little starfish, we're getting back. Keep rummaging around these rocks here. There's an ormer there, look. Aye right, aye, one there. Oh, there's another one on top. There's two. Two beauties. Get off. There you go. One, two. Is there any more on it? Hold up, there's another. There's another one, guys. There's another two. Hold up, so we got one, two off that rock. You beauty, get those two off. There's another two down here, I can feel them. I can feel one and I can see the other. Big beauties, look at that. Ginormous. And there's another one. I can feel it. There. go that one's in as well four I'm gonna turn this rock just to check that there's no others I'm gonna feel all the way around nice rock four on that one I'm gonna have a feel around here That was a nice little find, that. Four on one rock. A little look in here. One there, too small that, I think. Up on there. That one's gonna be too small, that one. Get that one back. Check under these. There's a lobster. I've got it. Little lobster. Aye aye with the king flip. Check that out guys. Little lobster, they look like a bit of commotion in here. And I thought, what the hell's that? There's no other thing. Little lobster, it's not gonna be in size. It's tiny. There you go. Nowhere near in size, but great to see. 
Little lobster foraging, have that. I was looking for almers and I just thought, oh, I'll have a look in that crevice there. Eh? Luckily I didn't stick my hand in and his tail was there. Eh? Hey, get back, mate. Get back into your hole. Go on. Back into your hole. That's where you were. Go on. There you go. Go on. That's it. Into your little hole. Well, yeah, I'm glad I didn't stick my hand in there, that's for sure. That is for sure. No warmers on the side here. No. Okay. Oh, well, nice little lobster, that guy's beauty. So you can see some rocks have already been lifted. I'm just going to turn the ones that haven't been. I've got one over there. I don't know if it's in size. I have to get it off. Oh, there's another one there. That's a beauty. One there. No measuring that one. That's a clonker. And then I've got another one here. Yeah, that one's in. I'm gonna check this rock just to see if there's any more on it, on the faces. No, that's it. Okay, that's one. Oh, just asking the gentleman here, give me a hand. What's your name, chap? Dan. Dan, Dan the same as me, eh? Yeah, Dan and Dan. This rock actually moves, but Dan. it's a beast. Dan from the I reckon Dan. there's gonna be loads under this one. Yeah, good. And Glorious is gonna clean up. Come on! Are you joking me? Nothing. One little one, look. One little baby. Oh no, there's one there. Any more there? No. Nope. I've got one here. I think. Oh, screwdriver. No, he's coming. Oh, he's broken. No. He broke. It's broken. Measure it. Yeah, it. I know. If it's in, yeah, it's in. Yeah. Now I'll get it off with the screwdriver. <laughs> Accidentally broke that one. That's the problem. See, they can break. There you go. Got it. Keep running my hand under it first. Just to... There's got to be more than that. Uh, that ain't. Sometimes they're not under the big ones. Here. Reckon we can get it back. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! We go wrong. Well, I was expecting more than that, chap. Well, I'll bring you back if you get any more, guys. Another one there. Beauty. Well, there's a little family of them there. Two there, they're too small. I'll give you a quick show of them. There you go. Too small, but it's great to see the future, so they'll go back nicely. Make sure they go back gently. I get damaged, that sort of thing. Oh guys, I've got two beauties here. Those are those ones. One. Two. Mammoths. Absolute mammoths. It's hard to gauge them in the water, so I'll just take them off. That one's too small. Oh, that one's too small as well. That one's on the cusp. I'm going to put those back. We'll get these rocks back, guys. Oh, nice one there. Beauty. Got a fair few. We've got a fair few. It's nice to see so many small ones as well, guys. There's lots of smalls. Just make sure we pull the rocks back safely. And that way, they don't get damaged. Like that, we just roll them back. And just hope they don't get damaged. There we go. In a nice bag full now, look. There's some nice ones in there. Some beauties. Oh, 
looking under all the rocks as well because you might find them in the cricks. That seems to be there. Oh. Try and find some more boulders. That way, hopefully, we can get a few more. It's a bit deep in it. Oh. See that rock's already been turned, so we'll turn this big one. Let's see if they've turned that. No, there's a big one there, look at that. A giant. Come on. There we go. Oh the size of that thing. Look at the collars. Like a brownie pinky. Beautiful. Just run my hand along it, make sure that there's no more. Oh, you beauty, see it just goes to show, just look for the ones they've missed. Things like this, with the weed on, I check to see if there's a stone on it. A lot of people just walk past the weed, not think, oh there might be a stone connected to it. Another big one here. Try this. Oh, I reckon there's going to be some on there. Load of small ones. No big ones. Beauty. Guys, check this rock. Look at the size of that thing. Look at that, and I've got another four more here. Yeah? <laughs> another one there, look at that. Got another one here. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Hit the jackpot there, guys. We hit the jackpot there. Another one. Five massive. That's like that. Oh, maybe not that one. That one's not in. Four. Four big giant almonds. Oh, now I'm gonna get this rock back, but we're gonna get it back. You beauty. And another one on the rock below it. Oh, I had another two, I just dropped one. I can see it, wherever I can get it up. It's the only problem when you drop them, not like that. We're gonna get wet. Oh, we got it. I got it. I think I got a little bit wet, but we got it. Oh yeah, we're a little bit wet. It's down the leg. Oh, we finally got wet. Not a rock, I got like three on this one. One. I think there's three. It's gonna be too small, I believe. Hey, that one's way too small. What's that there? There's another one. This one's a grandpa. Come 
Last one. Right, I'm going to move out of here because it's getting a bit deep. And I'm getting soaked every time. Check these here. Oh, that's a bit heavy, that one. Yeah, another one there. Beauty. Ah, nice right, little rock here. One. I think those three, we've got another three here, but I think they're going to be out. Yeah. Yeah, those three are out. Great to see. I'm going to turn this one. This one don't look like it's been turned. Look at that. Another three. One. Great collars on these. Come on. Come on, babe. That one's too small. So get them back. And these rocks don't look like they've been turned. So I'm going to turn all these little rocks. Nothing. Just out. That one's just out as well. Good to see. Good to see. Got one in. Also got Got another one here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Nice big one. Right there. In the corner. Oh, don't lose him. I've got him. Nice one there. Got a fair few now. Nice one there. Beauty. So guys, just having a little sit down. The back is hurting and I am knackered. I'm freezing, my back is hurting, but we have had an absolute bumper, bumper haul of warmers, guys. That's why I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna start making my way to the van. 
because I didn't realise how many I actually had until I just stopped and had a look. But check this out. Look at that for a bag of warmers. When I say a bag of warmers, that's a bag of warmers. Now I could have kept going and got loads more, but I've decided to stop now because like I said, I didn't realise how many I've had. So I'm going to start making my way up the beach. We've had some absolute busters, but yeah. Probably enjoyable day, but I'm shaking now. I'm freezing, the tide's on its way up. So we're gonna start making our way to the van and we'll measure these armors before we get off the beach. Because obviously as you're walking and the shells are banging together, especially when you've got a lot, they do break and you don't wanna be taking any that are undersized. So next stop would be at the top of the beach before we get to the van and we'll give a count of and how many we got. Oh, it's a long trek guys, it's a long trek. Big bag of warmers. Let's go. Oh guys, I'm gonna start counting up these warmers. Like I said, I didn't realize how many I had. I really didn't. What a bumper trip. So a lot of these I ain't gonna have to measure. So one, two, three. I'll keep all the ones that are close. Four, five. Look at the size of that. Mammoth abalone, five giant, six, seven, eight, nine, keep that one out, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, look at that, that's a giant, fourteen. And the last one, and the shell was in, 57. 57 Ormers, guys. What a bumper bag of Ormers. You beauty. Right, I'm gonna continue the rest of the trip and get up to the van. I'm soaking. What a trip that was, you beauty. Right, the final approach, we've reached the rocks. At the top of here, should be the van. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed that trip. I said I could have had well over a hundred there, I reckon. But no point being too greedy. 57's more than enough. And just think we were all the way down there before. Back up now. Alright, let's get to the warmth of that van. So guys, we're back at the van. 57 abalone and we had some giant, giant ormers in here. Some real, real bosters. Really enjoyed myself today, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And we had that little lobster as well. So I managed to finally forage my first lobster. So if you're new to the channel and you like this sort of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button guys. Make sure you hit the bell as well. And that way you'll get any notification of these foraging and fishing adventures that I do. So I hope to catch you on the next one guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.